guys, what is up? Slim Shane Gaming here, here to bring you another video. This is probably going to be one of my most exciting videos I have ever done on YouTube. For me, that is, because this is going to be my very first gaming PC. So anyways, I'm really happy to get into the unboxing of this. Um, I'll get into it a little bit more after the intro. But anyways, see you right there. So anyways, this is um, an Alienware Alpha. Uh, this is really fun and uh, really cool. I um, My one friend has it. Actually, a couple of my friends had it. They told me it was really good. I never seen any negative feedback about it. And I even looked online at ratings. Everybody says it's good. So I decided, you know, might as well get it. So what I got was the Core i7 model with one terabyte of storage. Um, this is all I got to say. It's just really cool. I really like the boxing material right here. Um, they actually have some on the side where you just pull right out, but it has a little Alienware thing on here. I really like it a lot. Um, so usually uh, what this is, is basically just to keep, you know, console gaming PC. Um, I thought it would be, you know, something very nice to try out in my room as well. I always wanted to play those PC games that everybody got to play. Everybody says PC Master Race. Well, uh, I could definitely see why because of all their fun games that they got. And also mods that they can play and everything like that. Me. I mainly, um, the mods I always wanted to play, ever since I was a uh, little, kind of like a little bit after World of War was out for Call of Duty, I always just wanted to play those custom maps, and I've been dreaming of it, and today, you know, finally, I have the PC that I've been wait, wanting to get, so I'll be able to run almost every single map I ever wanted to play, and I'll also be able to record some gameplay, so you're going to be seeing a lot of recordings coming from this bad boy right here, but anyways, let us get into the unboxing. So, what we're going to be doing first, we're just going to slide this right out, just from right here. It's not too big. Actually, it is a little bit big. Aw, oh, damn. Insert joke there. Alright, so we're going to take out a little bit right here. We just have a little bit of tape on the sides. No big deal. Alright, so now we're just going to take this off. So here we are right here with the box itself right here. So I want to get a little bit more in close so you guys can see what it uh, looks like a little bit closer up. Alrighty, so as we can see right here, here's the box itself. It's actually a really freaking big box. Uh, here's the size of my right hand right here compared to it. And my hand's pretty big, so <laughs> it's kind of funny uh, just seeing how big this is, even though it looks small when you see it through video. But uh, anyways, here's the Steam controller right here. There's the console itself. As you can see, it just says everything on here usually, you know, because it's anywhere Steam machine. Shows right on the front right there. <laughs> on the top right here, it's Intel inside to tell you that um, it's also made by Intel. Uh, it has the Intel Core i7, so makes sense. Um, this is basically designed for PC gaming in the living room. So I wanted to get it, you know, to make it feel more like at home. And also, I can also, you know, change it around like a hybrid from a console to PC, so it's kind of cool. Um, if you see on the right side over here, it'll give you the specs over here. So if you want to see uh, specs in English, you know, it'll be right here. And then it'll just give you, um, basically says the same thing, just in different languages right here. But as you can see from right over here, that it has um, an Intel Core i7 processor, as I said before, with eight gigabytes of memory, with one terabyte of storage, which is freaking kind of crazy because um it also has the nvidia geforce gtx with two gigabytes gpt uh gpu uh graphics so that's gonna be really nice um as you see it runs on steam os it goes through wireless ac and bluetooth so you'll be able to maybe connect your controller i'm going to plug in my ps4 controller to it see how that works out we're all just plugging my xbox 360 um, as you can see as well, it has a 6 foot HDMI cable with Steam controller and the game bundle. I did not know it came with this just right now, so it's actually really nice to get this stuff with it. Uh, they kind of should since, you know, it cost it like 700 <laughs> It was a lot of money, but you know, it was worth it. So let's check out on the back over here. I didn't even check the back yet. Alright, so as we see on the back right here, it uh, these are all in different languages as well, but this one's in English right here, so we're going to check it out right now. 
So the Massive Games Library, over 1,000 games available to play directly on the Alienware Steam Machine, in addition to thousands available via stream, or via street Steam, oh my goodness, and home streaming. Oh yeah, look, see, he even said streaming, see? <laughs> so, the content bundle comes built, um, bundled with in-game content and games ready to play, so uh, that's actually really awesome. Uh, the Steam Controller, unlock new games never played before with a controller, the ultimate accessory to game in the living room is included. Multiplayer, ooh, that's freaking cool, multiplayer, I didn't even see that. Play without the four Steam controllers at once, so that's actually kind of cool. Equipped with the NVIDIA GeForce, you know, thing that I just said before. Uh, there's nothing really else on the box. Over here, you basically just see barcodes and stuff like that. Nothing special. But anyways, let's uh, try to open this. Man, we only got through the, the box right there. <laughs> like, dang. Alright, so, we're going to plop this down. And then we're going to open it from the side again, because for some reason it has, uh, I don't know, it's like a box in a box in a box. But anyways, I'm going to record it right when I um, take this right off. Alrighty, so I just took this off right here. As you see, it's basically it was just the overlay. But um, as we see, here we are. <laughs> I love this logo right here. I remember YouTubers um, unboxed some Alienware stuff, and this uh, was on, um, I think it was just on the box too, like this. It just looks so cool. I really like the logo for that. I'm kind of in love with that logo. So we're going to see if we can open this now, because like, like I just said, it, it seems like a box and a box and a box and a box and a box. I might put this up for the display, to be honest. I'm not too sure. Alright, here's where the goodies are. Whoa, holy moly. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to turn around and look at this right here. Alright, so this is all in different languages as well. I, I, it seems like uh, most of this is in different languages. Oh, here we are. We we can use uh, Xbox 360 controller as well. Uh, system startup. Uh, we also have controls right here. I may need to use that in the future. Alright, let's check out right here. Turn on your Alienware Steam Machine by pressing the Alien head on the front of the unit. Follow the steps on screen. Use your account. You may sign up for free one. Do not unplug the power uh, plug power until setup processes. Okay. It's basically just telling you how to start it up, basically. So we're going to open this now. Whoa, what's in the back right here? It was hiding from me. Like, boy. <laughs> Maybe instructions, if I'm not wrong. Maybe it has codes. Maybe even better stickers. Because, you know, I, I like stickers. Alright, here we are with the setup guide. Here's the quick start guide for the controller. And then here we are with the quick start guide for right here. Oh, yeah, here we are. Got some instructions. I mean, you need to use that for later. Alright, so we're just going to set that to the side over here, and we are going to set this to the side as well. Actually, no, we're going to put it up over there. Okay, so here we are. Wow, man. <laughs> Alright, so we got our two AA batteries. God, I love that door cell battery. Alright, let's open this baby up one little bit at a time. Just kidding. No, we're going we're gonna to massively open it. So I'm basically just taking all the little packaging off. Alright, here, let's take out the controller right now. Oh, dang, here we are. This is the Steam controller right here. It feels very nice, actually, to be honest. It doesn't seem like it would be comfortable since it, like, has a ramp going up, but it actually feels really nice. You can hear that. You also move your th thumb across here like a mouse, basically. Let me show you the back, too, real quick. As you see, here's the back right here. You have your little Controls right here. Now you see, there's just regular bumpers, nothing labeled. Of course, they got these labeled. Like, boy. All right, so we're gonna set that across to the side over here. That's kind of funny. I said that across to the side. Like that. All right, here's the AC cable right here. Put that over there. Oh, what's this? I think I may need to look at the instructions. GL. 
I don't know uh, what this is for, but if you do know, if you're watching this video, let me know, because I have no idea what that's for. I may look in the instructions later about it. I probably won't, because I've never been a big guy with instructions. This mainly is just a little USB charger dock right here. Kind of cool. I actually really like that. Really nice. It's kind of like a extend cable. So we're going to put that right over here, basically with everything else. And it's starting to look like a chunk pile over there. <laughs> so as we see right here, here's the big, big brick. I like how it's like rubber on the side right here. That would be nice for um, trying to even out, not even out the cables. What am I saying? Now, as we can see right here, um, this is just the big power brick. As you see right there, the AC power. That was just the AC cable that I showed you earlier. And this is a uh, 130 watts. Oh, dang. All right, so here we are. Here's the main thing. This is the thing we all came for. This is like getting a medium rare steak. Guys, if you like medium rare steak, I, I like medium rare steak. So we're just going to try to plop this open. Alrighty, Ooh. here we are, here it is, a little bit, just a tad bit bigger than I thought it would be. Alright, so we're going to move this box for one second. Alright, so here we finally are right here with the Alienware steam machine. We're going to try to open this up now from the bubble wrap because... It is like impossible to see. That looks so beautiful. Oh my god. That is so beautiful looking. It's like the reflections on point, but you, it did probably definitely get dirty quickly. That's why I'm gonna leave the tape on for a little while. So as you see we got the little alien head as it was shown um telling us in the instructions. Oh no no on the instructions with the controller. We got the little intel inside. Alright, so we're just gonna hook up the controller now. We're just gonna put these batteries in before anything. Alright, we finally got that. Now I'll put this baby back on. So we're just gonna slide that right in here. Here we are. That was actually really easy to snap in. Now the cool part is too is that you can even click on the sides right here. Alright, so after uh, looking at this for a little bit, unboxing it all, we're gonna see if we can finally get it started up. So, let's go. So after uh, a big, te big treacherous, uh, you know, thing putting everything away, after all that, I finally got everything I needed set up. So I'm actually really excited now. Uh, as we see, I just basically put my box under there with the Alienware boxes. It's a little bit crammed up in here, but uh, I will be trying to see if I can move rooms as much as possible. Anyway, here's the Alienware. I showed you a little bit of a preview. Uh, in the back of here, you can see the LED is pretty cool for the AC cord. It has a little bit of a blue right there. Pretty nice. All right, so let's start this TV up. Input. HDMI 2. Alrighty. Now it's time. I don't know if you've seen also, there's a little bit of a steam logo right here. Alright, let's start this baby up. Oh, dang, that looks nice. So, fortunately, it did not work on this TV that I got right here. Because, you know, it's kind of a being a jerk face, you know. So, Alright, so the crappy part is that, um... I it just didn't work on this TV right here. I really wanted to hook it up to here. I was like, all right, time to hook this up to this TV. Fortunately, it just didn't work. It just it just gave me a middle finger basically. So I, uh, you know, just had to switch over TVs. So I, I tried it on this one. I thought it wasn't working for a second, but 
I, I, I don't know. Who cares? <laughs> but I finally got this uh, booted up. It's going to be on top of the PS4. Think of it as its brother. This one's going to be the older brother, though. This one to be old Pappy right here. All right, so it says right here, turn on the controller. So we're going to do that right now. Whoa, dang. <laughs> it sounded like a retro Mario sound. All right, so I'm going to click on all the pads. All right, all the things here. English. So we're going to click on English. Next. Uh, I think we're just going to agree with it because, you know, any other person would. Agree. Oh, boy. Oh, my good. Oh, dang. This is a lot of stuff. Can I, like, double tap or something? Okay, no. I'm forced to scroll down. All right. All right. So, finally, after doing that for so long, we, we finally got this. All right. So, we're going to fix the image up a little bit. Next. Uh, we're going to say what time zone we're in right now. What well, we are... are um, where's, where's the one I'm in right now? Standard Eastern Time. New York. Next. Use Wi-Fi connection. Finally set this up. So now we're just going to sign in. Or we can check the settings real quick. Either way. Either way goes. Alright, so. Uh, let me go on the Steam controller real quick. Okay, how do I work this? <laughs> I'm just like, okay, how do I work this now? Okay. Check the settings out. Uh, we can do an add and test, configurations, display, resolution, interface, network, Bluetooth, system. Let's check interface. There's mute all, ambient sounds. Alright, we're good with that system what do we got here tells us everything we need okay good stuff good stuff resolution okay we're good with that now if i'm right i feel i think you can change the i think you're able to change the color on this i have to check it later on but um, anyways, guys, I hope you have a great day. I'm going to be bringing some gameplay on this soon. So I'll, I'll pro uh, whenever I do upload it, I'll put it in the description below of the gameplay with it. But anyways, guys, have a great one and peace. Like for the Alienware boys.